Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, we're here at Lockhart High School. It's senior night, and they're getting ready to start that real quick. But before we do that, I'm going to do some uh, some updating on what we're doing here. So tonight, it is 5A Region 4, District 25 Volleyball. For Lockhart, there's not a whole lot of the state. We already know we're the number two seed. But Lockhart Lady Lions coming to the match tonight at 27 and 10 overall. They're 11 and 2 in district play. Again, that clinches them second place no matter what happens tonight. We're up against LBJ who comes into the contest at 15 and 9 overall. They're 8 and 5 in district play and they're pretty much fourth spot. Now if they beat us and McCollum were to lose tonight, which I doubt that happens, they would tie for third spot, but I don't think McCollum's going to lose because they are actually playing a team that they should dismantle tonight. So tonight, our team, our QA tonight is Les Clary. Les, we're glad to have you. If you beat me ever again in fantasy football, I'm going to disown you. But Les Clary, thank you for being with us. And then we started out with AJ, and I've got to give AJ props. AJ is the best-looking producer we have next to McKelty Altier, who has taken over. McKelty Altier takes over that spot as she has jumped in. She's got the scoreboard ready. She's doing her thing. And uh, But we have Kevin Mills here tonight. He's going to be our color commentator, and myself, Scott Smith, doing play-by-play. -play. So with that going on, and in the background, the senior not going on, Kevin, it's your first game with us. What are you thinking? What are you expecting tonight? Well, I watched a some of the games earlier but with my daughter being in college and playing softball I haven't been able to be around but definitely want to come out and support this team I enjoyed watching them last year um, expect them to come out tonight and play well uh, I don't think they'll have a letdown since they, even though they have the playoffs clinched um, and I'm looking at it from this standpoint they lost to Dripping Springs twice in district Dripping Springs has always been a powerhouse team so I think the playoffs uh, should go very very well for this uh, group of talented ladies well, and we're right now we're with the seniors, so I'm going to shut us down and kind of turn up the mics here. As a member of the 
Lady Lion Y team. Brooklyn has earned academic all district all three years. Brooklyn plans on pursuing a bachelor's degree in her in interior designing, but is undecided on her college of choice at this time. Her favorite memory about Walker Volleyball is being the first team to make it to playoffs in several years. Congratulations, Brooke. We are so proud of everything you have accomplished while being a part of this team. Number 10, Cindy Shaw is escorted by her mother, Angela Shaw, and her father, Bill Shaw. Cindy has been a varsity member for three years and is one of our starting middles. Throughout her career on the team, Cindy has earned 46 total aces, 338 kills, and a total of 199 blocks, with 119 of those being solo blocks. Her junior year, Cindy earned a spot on the All District Honorable Mention team. Cindy has applied to Baylor University and plans to study pre-pharmacy after she graduates high school. Her favorite memory about Walker Volleyball was everything. Congrats, Sydney! We are so proud of you and all you have accomplished on this team. Number 14, Kelsey Stevens. It has a great her mother, Stephanie Stevens, and grandparents, Ernest and Rosemary Holman. Kelsey has been a varsity member for two years and is one of our starting defensive specialists. Throughout her career on the team, Kelsey has earned a total of 318 dicks and 28 aces. As a member of the Lady Lion Volleyball Team, Kelsey earned the Lion Heart Award her junior year and represents her team as the varsity captain her senior year. Kelsey has been accepted to Texas State University, but is still undecided as she also plans on attending the University of Texas to major in accounting. Her favorite memory about Lockhart Volleyball was being able to walk more outside of school and become more of a family at team dinners. Congrats, Kelsey. We are beyond proud of you and your accomplishments on the team. All right, well, we're back here and listening to the things that the underclassmen had to say. That is the most I've ever heard Callie Krentz talk, actually. Uh, we tried to get her in an interview, and she had to double-team that thing there with uh, Kaylee Reynolds because neither one of them wanted to talk much. I actually uh, had Leslie Krenz, uh asking for that interview, and then she texted me later, messaged me later, saying that that had to be the shortest interview ever, and it, and it actually probably was on record. Uh, so we got to hear all that's going on there. We still have warm-ups that we have to go through before the game will actually start. But something I wanted to retouch on is the fact that this is the first time in 12 years that the Lady Lions have made the playoffs. And that's been a long string of time there. And, uh, and I have to sit... I've got McKelty sitting on my left eating popcorn, which I love popcorn. And then I have Kevin on my right, and he, he's doing his popcorn thing. Again, if you ever want to get Kevin something nice for Christmas, he will accept popcorn. Any kind of popcorn, just send it his way. Because I thought I ate a lot of popcorn until I met this man. Um, but we got a lot of things going on here. Uh, things that I just want to kind of go through. Uh, the stats that Abby Ruggio had, she'd been playing for a long time. And we were talking thousands of different things like uh, assists my goodness that's a big hefty number for that young lady uh just kind of listen to that kevin did anything kind of jump out at you with the stats that you listened to you know, the stats were impressive and like you said uh rujo has been playing for four years i remember seeing her play in junior high i've been watching lockhart volleyball probably for nine to ten years um the thing that jumps out at me is how large this senior class was um, that's why they're strong. Um, they've got a strong senior core. Um, and like I said, a lot of those girls played uh, basketball too. Um, it makes them a better athlete overall. So like I said, I expect from looking at it, it seemed like they held their own uh, against Dripping Springs in a lot of the matches. 
I expect good things from this group in the playoffs. They're mature, uh, heavy, le heavy senior class, and uh, well coached. So uh, I would expect. Uh, and again, we need to schedule it, but hopefully, we schedule a lot of playoff games for volleyball. Well, and I know I'm looking forward to that because every single girl that I interviewed, and I hit every single girl on the roster, the two tonight, and we'll go over the interviews here in just a second, but the two interviews we had tonight were from the last junior, and then also we had the only sophomore on the roster do her interview tonight, and then we have the coach's interview as well to go through, and we're going to go through that here pretty soon. But uh, just kind of going through what, what they've done their last three matches to get here, for Erica Cray and her LBJ uh, team, they lost to Dripping Springs three to nothing, which who hasn't lost to Dripping Springs three to nothing? They beat Lanier three to nothing. They beat Crockett three to nothing. So that's where they're at. For us, we beat Travis three to nothing. We lost to Dripping Springs three to nothing. And then we, did, we uh, beat Lanier in our last match three to nothing. So like I said, the girls are warming up. As Kevin said, we're, we have a lot of seniors, and uh, as Coach said in her interview, which you will hear, uh, it's either going to be Monday or Tuesday. We don't know yet, but they'll be playing most likely at Steele High School in Cibolo. So that's where the plan of action is for Monday or Tuesday. We just don't know which one it's going to be yet. A win there moves them on. The goal is to make it to state, and... Uh, I'm not sure where that's at, but I have a feeling it's probably going to be somewhere near Fort Worth or in that ballpark area. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do a commercial. When we come back, we'll cover the interviews. Hey, listen to Ryan Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted Best Chiropractor and Best Chiropractor's Office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. All right, well, we're back here at Lockhart High School. We're getting ready to go through the interviews now. And I talked today, tonight to two girls. They, they're they bench players, and but they're proud to be there. We talked to them a little bit. Their interviews were, were, uh, were good interviews. But the one I really enjoyed was Michaela Leva, as she's the only sophomore in the team. But first, we're going to hit Lainey Adair, a junior who's excited about her senior year and she had something to say about that coming up. So here's Lainey Adair's interview. This is Lion Country Broadcast Network with KMAX Sports Divide Magazine. I'm here with junior Lainey Adair. And this is the last two folks of the year that I'm going to get to interview before we get to playoff time. So Lainey, how has your junior year gone for you so far? Well, junior year started out slow, but it's slowly like, I mean, I don't know, it's coming to a quick end. Before I know it, I'm going to be a senior. And that, that is always the scary thing is coming back to your la your senior year being the last year you're going to be on a volleyball court with your high school teammates. So my second question to you is, what are your goals for this team and what you want to accomplish for the rest of the season? Well, we are going to playoffs, so our next goal is state. And that is what I've heard from everybody, and that's a good goal to have because I get to go with you when you guys go. The last one is the easy question. Who do you want to give a shout-out to? Um, I like to give a shout out to my mom. She's been there for everything, and she's here tonight for parent night. That is awesome. Again, this was Junior Laney Adair. I appreciate your time, and good luck tonight. All right, well, that was Laney. That's what she had to say. Again, a good interview. The girls seem to do a much better job than the boys uh, when it comes to football, so I'm going to throw that out there, a little shout out on the girls' side. And here's what our sophomore, the only sophomore that we have, on our team and what she had to say in her interview tonight. This is Scott Smith with Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAG Sports through Vibe Magazine. I'm here with Micaiah Leva. 
She's the only sophomore on our varsity. So yours a little bit different than everybody else. What have you learned from your teammates this year? And what do you, what do, what do you remember? What are your highlights for your sophomore year? So um, my highlights are pretty much just hanging out with my team. And um, I really just like appreciate everything they've taught me. And I hope to accomplish a lot more next year. That's a good answer. My next question for you is, what do you want to accomplish this season and what do you want to see your team accomplish before the year's over? Well, I definitely, since we're going to playoffs, I really just uh, want to go to state and that's what I'm just hoping for. <laughs> and that's a great answer as well. The last one's the easy one. Who do you want to give a shout out to? My mom. I love her with everything and she's here today. So <laughs> That's very good. Well, here again was the youngest player on the team. Michaela, I really appreciate your time and good luck tonight. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, and that's what Michaela had to say about tonight. And then now we're going to switch gears and we're going to go to head, co head coach Alex Bothian. If you'll remember in my interviews with her prior, I used to have her get to give her questions beforehand so she could think about it a little bit. I didn't have to do that tonight. I think she's a seasoned veteran at this, this interview stuff. And as long as the girls keep winning, she's going to have to keep doing this. Here's what coach had to say for about tonight's game. This is Scott Smith with Lion Country Broadcast Network through KMAC Sports and Vibe Magazine. I'm here with the head coach, Alex Bothy, who's completely turned around the, the, the volleyball program in just one short year. And we've already clinched the playoffs. So going into tonight's game with LBJ, we've already know we got a playoff spot. And uh, so what is the goals for the girls tonight? Because you know you're in the playoffs. So what are you going to try to build tonight to uh, accomplish? Um, our goals are always going to be the same. Focus on us, do our job, and worry about our side of the net. Um, so today, nothing really changes. We have clinched a second place playoff spot, um, but we are really just focused on ourselves. We need to win this game, and we know we do, whether or not um, we've already clinched it. But And I think going on into the playoffs, we're just going to keep focusing on us and getting stronger day in and day out. Okay, and I just thought of something that I'm sure you already know, but if I read right on Twitter... This is the first time in 12 years that the volleyball team's gone to the playoffs. Yes, I believe so. That's what I've been told. It's 12, I believe it's 12 years that we've gone to the playoffs, so the girls are really excited about that. That is incredible. I, when I saw that, I thought, well, there we go. And so again, uh, kind of focusing ahead, we just touched on this a little bit, a little bit ago. Who might we play? And it sounds like there's a game that has to be played tonight to determine that. So if you could explain that to the fans. Right now, we're projected to play Harlandale out of San Antonio. It all depends on tonight. Harlandale and Tyvee play against each other. If Tyvee wins, they'll be tied for third, and a possible playoff game might have to happen between those two. So, But right now, we're projected to play Harlandale, um, and we'll hopefully be playing at Steele High School in Cibolo. Okay, very good. And then the last question, the easy one, who do you want to give a shout-out to? I want to give a shout out to my team and these seniors on senior night. They have worked their tails off every day in practice and they have the highest expectations for themselves and their teammates and I'm just so incredibly proud of them and blessed that I get to coach them. And I, I, I appreciate all the interviews. I know, I know, again, this isn't the most favorite thing you get to do, but this now makes, what, three, if not four interviews where I think you've done a fantastic job, but not just that, with the volleyball team. And I want to thank you for what you've done. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Well, good luck tonight, and thank you for the interview. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you so good much. Good luck. All right. That's what Coach Bothy had to say about the interview there. As you heard from her, we're still up in the air on where we're – well, not so much where we're playing. We are pretty positive it's going to happen at Steele High School in Cibolo, which is just a little south of us there on 35. But the opponent, we're not sure yet. That's all going to happen tonight. And once we find out about that, we'll get with Kevin and, and Jeffrey and them and let them know, and then they can let KMAC know so we can get things going. But I guess the plan from here on, and I've got Kevin sitting beside me, I guess the plan is – we will cover the volleyball playoffs until they are eliminated. Absolutely, Scott. You know, uh, the focus has been a little more on the second half of district and the playoffs because from talking to Sheila, H Sheila Henderson, we think a lot of teams are going to make the playoffs. I think volleyball has the chance to play a long time in the playoffs, so um, we're going to focus on covering that. We can't cover everything, obviously. Uh, but we'd like to cover some district and all the playoff games that we can cover. All right. 
Well, and you know, again, I always have to go to McKelty on my coverage here because I know the clock changes all the time, but how much time do you think we have before we get to the game here? Probably like seven minutes. It's got about another seven minutes. I'm going with, again, the expert because I'm just here. I, I just, whatever McKelty tells me, that's what we do. So um, we're going to take some more commercial breaks before we get going here. Uh, it's going to—it's senior night. We have a pretty good crowd here tonight. Not as big as the Dripping Springs night, but still, the, if you want to get down and watch some good volleyball, you need to get out here now because this team is fun to watch, and I think they're going to put on a show for us tonight. I'm going to let McKelty take us to break. We're also on the Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMX Sports Group Vibe right Magazine. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. You can tell the Pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Christ's Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Christ's Market ships nationwide. Stop by Christ's Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, Christmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow-cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler since 2002. Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School, and I just talked to one of the junior's parents. I'm going to try to give an interview here a little bit later in between one of the ma uh, matches here with Rudy Cadillo just so you guys can hear the voice of the guy who pretty much is my eyes away from the game so when I'm doing football on Friday nights Rudy's the one that's giving you all the updates now I also want to throw a, a couple shout outs first Sophia Sosa who took a picture of us earlier Sophia does a lot behind the scenes that nobody ever sees her son is one of the stars of the baseball team and he was defensive player of the game last week in football. I wanted to give a shout out to her because she came over took a uh, picture of us. Just appreciate the things they do for us. Uh, Melissa Ruggio is another one. Sean Ruggio. Those two will give me t updates from time to time when Rudy, Rudy's not around. Uh, Leslie Krenz is another one who will give me updates from time to time. I appreciate those folks because without those folks that are at those volleyball games, when we're not able to be there, we wouldn't know what was going on. So we'll try to get Rudy on here in between one of the matches and talk to him for just a little bit between games. And then I'm going to switch gears again. I'm going to go back to Kevin and let him have a little his thoughts on what goes on on you know when the volleyballs, the footballs, and all that. Yeah, I've got I've got two things. One, you know, touched on the parents and updates and all that, but. You know, what, what's behind the scenes are the countless hours that they spent driving them back and forth to tournaments, driving them back and forth to practice, paying dues if you're playing club ball. There's a lot that goes into making a volleyball team a winning team outside of what you see on the court. Um, so, you know, uh, I'd like to thank all the parents for taking their time and taking these years to do that, to make their kids better athletes, better volleyball players, and make Lockhart a better, better volleyball team. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Lion Country Broadcast Network. We've got a budget to broadcast about 50 different events during the school year. We try and spread them out among all the sports. A lot of the, the sponsorship dollars come through advertising from businesses. And to be honest, it's mainly businesses who don't have kids in programs here. So, you know, if you like what you hear, take time to talk to Scott, myself, Jeffrey Michelson, um, and talk to us about sponsoring. We could bring more broadcasts if we had more advertising dollars. So if you have a company and your daughter plays basketball, Think about sponsoring it. We can talk to 
the athletic director and maybe sponsor more, do more of that sport, you know. So we're open to that idea. But like you said, when I look at the, the advertising base that we have, most of those advertisers don't have any kids in school anymore. So they're doing it just to promote Lockhart Athletics, which is a great thing. Um, it looks like we have another four minutes or so here at least. So we have a little more time to kill. But um, like I said, I didn't want to underestimate the... You're having good parents, and Alex Sosa is a good example of that. Right? He's got a, a great home s support system, and that makes... Uh, a, a world of difference in a, in a young kid's life. So, again, I want to thank all the parents for the time that they've taken. I, I know from softball, you know from basketball what that entails. So, um, what we're seeing here tonight is a, a cu accumulation of years of different tournaments and practice and lessons and all that. So, it's, no, it's, not, a, it's not a surprise that this team is very good to me. I've seen them over the last few years. Um, like I said, they got a heavy senior group. Uh, good parents that support their kids overall, and uh, great coaching from what I've seen. Well, you know, and kind of switching gears away from volleyball right now, Coach Herman does his thing, the slot T. That's coming up Friday night as I get to uh, uh, announce on my birthday in San Antonio, and uh, so I'm sure I'll make Emilio buy me dinner or something. I'll do something like that. But uh, we're going down there for my birthday to get us a big victory against Kennedy High School. Pre-game will be 7 o'clock there. We'll have Miss Altier there because, again, we couldn't find the stadium if it wasn't for her. Again, we appreciate everything that her and A.J. do for us. As a matter of fact, they tried to get her away from doing what she does tonight to sing the national anthem. And uh, I probably would have had something go wrong if she wasn't here. So, fortunately, she's not going to sing it tonight. But I have a feeling Miss Talented over here, who's on the power team, powerlifting team, she sings, she does it all. AJ, as he says, he carries the band. And I'm sure that'll get him beat up someday, tell, telling all those girls that. But uh, these two kids are very talented. Unfortunately, they're both seniors, and we have to find somebody else for next year because we're not gonna have either one of them around unless McKelty decides not to go to college and wants to stay with us. So that's what we have there. Um, you know, it's the talent at this school with the singing, with Cross country, our girls did a fabulous job on cross country this year. Go to the Lion Country Broadcast fa Facebook page, read about what those kids did. Our boys team is going to state again. They qualified as a team. They're so talented and we got probably one of the greatest cross country track coaches in the entire state of Texas in this town in Scott Hempenstill. Then you go with what's coming up next, Helms is one of the all-time greatest coaches. He is a, uh, a Hall of Famer in basketball when it comes to coaches. When I was a kid, he was coaching junior high basketball in Kansas, where I came from. When I saw who the girls coach was here, I thought, there's no way it's the same guy. Yep, it's the same guy. What a coach Helms is. He's got the girls doing wonderful things there. And, you know, we got a few of the girls playing volleyball tonight that will be playing for that team. Then we have the new coach, Javier Torres, which I work with in boys basketball. Of course, I have a stepson that is on the varsity basketball team. Yes, I have my own, you know, thing with the boys basketball, but I can't wait to watch that. We have a team that hasn't won a district game in like three years. I think he's going to turn that around. And I really see both the boys and girls making the playoffs in basketball this year. And then soccer, they're going to start a little bit later after that in February, I believe it is, or in that ballpark. And you've got two great coaches. We just hired a guy on the coach of the girls' soccer team who's going to do a fabulous job. I've talked to him. The guy knows soccer. Of course, you know our boys' team is always good because, again, our coaches are so good. And you've got to thank Sheila Henderson for bringing these people in here and doing what she does with them. Because without Sheila Henderson getting them in the door and getting them hired on, we're not the teams that we are. So that's just my opinion there. Well, I think you're absolutely right on that. I mean, again, watching Lockhart Sports for a long time, we've got some, I'll just say, upgrades from the coaching standpoint. And it's obvious when you look at it. I will say that I will sit in on a few soccer games in the, uh, the, com the upcoming season in an attempt to learn soccer. I don't understand a lot about it. I want to learn more about it. Um, and again, it's part of supporting every sport, right? Uh, the one sport we can't really do is cross country. Um, and they were, 
uh, on Facebook for qualifying for something the other day, and you mentioned Scott Hippenstill and the, the success he's had here in the last 20 plus years, probably. Um, I've always said that you should start new coaches sitting down with him and picking his brain on what he does to be consistently good every year. Yeah, you go into his office, and he has books from teams way back when. He's got a thing on his wall that they went to the Kansas Relays, which I know what that is. That's where some of the best in the country go to run, and they've won that before. And uh, I know they went to Arkansas, and they won in a cross-country meet, um, meet there this year. Again, the girls' team had a phenomenal season. They did some things. The tennis team. They had never, that I know of, ever been to the playoffs, and they made it to the playoffs for that. So all of our coaches have done a fabulous job with us and with our, t our kids here. And, you know, with cross country, yes, there were some great seniors, but talking to Coach Hempenstiel, his best runners are underclassmen. So this isn't like it's only going to happen one year and be done. They're, they're just rebuild. They reload. So we're, we're getting close to uh, the first serve here. We started a little late. The JV girls won. I'm pretty positive the freshman girls won as well. We're going to go ahead and take a few commercials, and then we'll be back because we're about to go live here. Take us away, McKelty. We're from the Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. Here to help you with personal or business tax return preparation, payroll processing, business financial statements, or consulting for accounting software. Kevin is a longtime QuickBooks Pro Advisor. At Kevin Mills CPA, relationships are the cornerstone of our business. All new clients receive a free half-hour consultation to ensure we get our relationship started on the right foot. Begin your relationship with Kevin Mills CPA by calling 512-376-4212 or find him on the web at kevinmillscpa.com. Johnny & Sons Pain & Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny & Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny & Sons Pain & Body, we won't steer you wrong. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School. We're getting things ready to go as I talked earlier about... You know, Melissa and Sean Ruggio giving us updates. Sean's like 15 feet away from us filming his daughter in her last game at home in her senior year. And then I, I talked about Leslie Krenz, and she's about 20 feet to the other side of us getting ready to take pictures of the, the announcement of the starting lineups and whatever. You got Rudy Cadillo, who's about 10 feet away from us, who's filming the game. So all of our people that do this, and as Kevin talked about, are very important with what we do. They're just arms reach away from us. So here we go, we're gonna turn this up. Number six, Grace Carter. 
So, you know, we talk about the players and their their coaches and their parents. We're getting ready. First, before we go to that, we're going to go to the national anthem here real quick. Then we'll get to what I was going to talk about. All right, to get back to my train of thought there. So what these coaches mean to these players and things like that, the girls usually have volleyballs that they throw to their parents or friends in the stands that have a little volleyball on them with some writing and whatnot. Who did Callie Krenz give her volleyball to but her basketball coach who's keeping score to tonight's game? That's the kind of relationships these kids have with their coaches. That, to me, is that says a lot because you give the volleyball that you're holding to your basketball coach. And if you know Helms, he's just a great guy. Everybody loves him, he's a good man. So we are getting ourselves ready to go. And if nothing else, come to the game to see Kia Young smile. That'll light up the room right there. Kia Young, a senior volleyball player. We're going to get this baby started here with Abby Ruggio as she and her killer jump serve will get us going. I'm right now trying to find out who their starters are so that I can highlight. And I am getting close to all of them. While you're doing that, um, talking about the parents and the different groups around Lockhart High School, I thought the uh, trio that does the anthem at the football games is absolutely impressive. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure who that is. Maybe McKelty knows a little more about it, but every time I hear them, I'm very, very impressed. All right, we're started here. The serve was over the top. Ruggio sets up Shaw. What a hit. And there's already a miss hit there. Ruggio set up Shaw. Shaw kills it. One nothing Lady Lions. So Ruggia will get service number two with her left-handed jump serve. There it goes over the top, a nice one. And it was good enough that the ball was hit long. So it's now two to nothing Lady Lions are on top. In one game, Ruggio served 16 straight service points. There it goes over again. They dig it up. That's number 13 dug, dug up there by Cadillo. Wooten was the one to return that. Krenz is hit. She was set up there by, um, by uh, Cadillo, and then she, she got another kill, so it's three to nothing Lady Lions. And I'm still trying to get all the numbers here for the opponents, and I got Wooten there. They're gonna set it up to Wooten again. She goes wrong with her kill. So it's now four to nothing, the Lady Lions. I now have their starters, so here we go. Ruggio with a serve at four to nothing. Jump serve is in. They dig it up there, number 12, Morgan. Oh, they didn't read that one very well as it was number four, Paris Nix with the kill, making it four to one. So it'll be number 14, Veronica Ashley, as she'll be serving for LBJ. Krenz to Ruggio, back to Krenz. Nice hit, and it goes in for the kill. 
It's now five to one. Krenz gets the kill and now she'll get the serve. Again, this girl's five foot three. She plays like she's six foot four. There's her jump serve and it goes a little bit long. It'll go back to LBJ. It's five to two now. Lady Lions on top. Tian, she gets so subbed out, and I'm trying to see who subbed in for. The serve is long, and that was uh, Emily Wooten with the serve that goes long. So it's now five to or six to two, Lady Lions. That'll bring up senior Sydney Shaw with the service. And it goes over. Nice set there. Good block at the net there by uh, um, Young. Ruggio to Miller. And it falls in. Miller with the kill. Ruggio with the set. 7-2. to The Lady Lions are out early. Brings up Sydney Shaw with her service for the second time. 7-2. to The Lady Lions are on top. Shaw's hit over the net. Nice dig or hit there by Dun Duncharm. They get it over. Krenz to Ruggio. And Reynolds hits it long. So that'll go out of bounds, and it's now 7-3. So Shaw will check out Ruggio. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to call the shortest girl on the team, Ruggio. Cadillo checking in. Krenz digs it up. Ruggio to Miller. And the hit is out of bounds, so it's seven to four. LBJ crawling back into the game here. Paris Nix serving. Paris Nix is a very tall, slender girl. Her hit is dug up by Cadillo. Young with the kill, the set from Ruggio. Eight to four, Lady Lions on top. Nice job there by Cadillo to dig it up. Young with the set, uh, Ruggio at the set, Young with the kill. Miller serving. They're gonna try to run that down. The hit by Wooten. Miller to Ruggio, and her kill does get served up. Nice job there by number seven, Ducharme, who got it over the net. Ruggio with the kill, though. They set it right to Ruggio, and she kills it home. It's now nine to four. The Lady Lions are on top. So Brooke Miller. Her serve is on the way. They get it up there by Galeas. Over it goes by Wooten. Krenz with the dig. Over to Miller, to Reynolds. They get it right back up. Over to Krenz. Back to Miller. To to, uh, a nice kill there, number nine, Kaylee Reynolds, the junior, with another kill. It's 10 to four. The Lady Lions are on top. Brooklyn Miller still serving. Galeas over to her teammate. Nice block though. They tried to spike it or hit them in the net. Kia Young gets up there for the block. And that smile, 11 to 4, Lady Lions. We're going to take a timeout. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. For over 15 years, Raina Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Raina Drywall and Paint today. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School. The Lady Lions are on top, 11 to four. Well, Scott, one thing that strikes me is that we've got a lot of weapons, right? I remember some years when you had two kids who could uh, hit the ball hard. We've got a six, seven kids who could hit the ball hard. And that is correct. And we even have girls sitting on the bench over there that aren't playing a lot that can do that. Well, that's what you need, right, to make a team better. It, it's, it's a lot about practice and if you've got a strong squad you can practice against, that's going to make you that much better. Well, and not only that, we have a JV team who's tearing it up. They're beating everybody. So the JV girls are coming up next year. We're just reloading next year. So Brooklyn Miller will continue her tear here. We have 11-4 lead. 
And once I get all the jersey, it's hard to read the LBJ's jerseys. They have gray jerseys with purple numbers. Prince digs it up. Miller sets up Ruggio. She hits it over Root and sends it back. But they're able, or they're not able to get over the net as it was number 14, Veronica Ashley, who tried to dig it up but couldn't. So it's now 12 to 4, the Lady Lions. Brooklyn Miller still serving. Nice job there by Wooten to get it up. The hit there by number nine, that's Chan. Cadillo digs it up. Reynolds sends it over. They're going to try to hit it over again. And we have two girls that run into each other. And it was a nice job there. And I want to say that was number seven again. That was Ducharm that was able to hit it over. It's now 12 to five. And I think McKelty took one for the team here. McKelty. Well, bounced off the wall. That was a great header there by McKelty. They get it over the, the net for us. Youngs hits it over. Oh, they're gonna say that we were in the net. So it looks like they're gonna call Kia Young as she is a net violation there. That makes it 12 to six. And I still can't see who's serving. That is number two. That is Peyton Atchison on the service. Number 14, Ashley hits it over. It was Ashley with the kill. It was Atchison with the kill. That makes it 12 to seven. So LBJ climbing back into the match as they have Peyton Atchison with the service. She's done a good job for him. Another jump serve, Krenz with the dig. Miller to Ruggio, it's blocked. Nice job there by number nine, Mandy Chan with the block. It's now 12-8. So what once was 12 to two has turned into 12 to eight. Uh, Atchison to uh, Cadillo. Ruggio over the net with it. They bring it up, Chan. Young tries to block it, but she can't. It's now 12 to nine. And just like that, we have us a match. LBJ not going away without a fight. Atchison with her serve again. Krenz to Miller, to Young. Over they go again. Nice block by Young, but again, she's not able to get it over the net. It's now 12 to 10. Lockhart's gonna call a timeout. I'll let McKelty take us for a commercial. We're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAC Sports through Bright Magazine. Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School, where LBJ has climbed their way back in through the service of Peyton Atchison. She's, done, she's got a nice jump serve, and she's been able to make it to where it's gone from 12 to two to 12 to 10. Lady Lions are gonna try to regroup here and get back on top of this. Ruggio with the dig. Miller to Reynolds. They were able to get it over the net with Young. Uh, Cadillo gets it. She gets it to Miller. And or I'm sorry, Reynolds and Reynolds with a nice kill, making it 13 to 10, and that'll stop service. So it'll be uh, Reynolds that checks out. Number 14, Kelsey Stevens, the senior, to check in to serve. Kelsey, oh, I can't believe we didn't get a, a nice ace off that. It rolled up the girl's arm. Miller to Ruggio, and Ruggio kills it. 14. Team to 10, the Lady Lions are back on top thanks to Kelsey Stevens, the senior, and her service. Give a shout out to my mother and father who are listening to the match with their two ridiculous dogs. Miller gets the serve, or the dig. And we got the kill again. Right now, I'm trying to battle my phone as people are shouting out. And 
and my phone is going dead here. Stevens with another serve, and they try to dink it over. Stevens gets it dug up. Miller to Young, a left-handed kill doesn't go. It's gonna be Wooten that gets it up and in. So it's now 15 to 11. LBJ staying in it. I gotta find out who's serving there. That is Maribel Ducharm with the serve. Franz digs it up. Miller to Young. Young with the kill and the smile. Nothing else. Come watch that smile every time Young gets it. Young checks out. Shaw checks in. 16 to 11. The Lady Lions are on top. Carly Cadillo, the shortest girl on the court, but she's always all over the place. Nice service. Chan with a nice kill. The Stevens couldn't get the return. That'll make it 16 to 12 now. The future of the Lions are sitting just to the right of us. The JV team. And it'll be Alexis Galeo whose service goes in. Good serve by Galeo as it's now 16 to 13. Alexia Galeo has done a good job. Here's another jump serve. Ruggio tries to dive to save it, and it's another ace. 16-14 now. Galeo again. Cadillo with the dig to Miller, to Shaw. They dig it up. Here comes the hit from Wooten, and it went out of bounds. It'll go back to Lockhart. That'll make it 17 to 14, as Wooten could not get it in. Check that, yeah, it was Wooten that hit it long. Abby Ruggio's back to the jump serve. 17, 14, Lady Lions on top. Ruggio's left-handed serve. They try to get it in, and it's a nice kill there. That was number nine, or no, I've checked that. That was number four, Paris Nix with the kill. So they will have Veronica Ashley on service now. 17 to 15, LBJ is not going away. Here comes her serve. Stevens to Ruggio to Miller and the block was by number four Paris Nix, but it went out of bounds. So it's now 18 to 15, the Lady Lions. And checking into the game is the girl that we had on the air before the game, Laney Adair, with her service. And a nice serve it was, and she'll get the ace on that. Great job by Laney as it's now 19-15. I'm glad to see her playing tonight. And it'll be LBJ calling a timeout. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Fight Magazine. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School. Kevin, what do you think so far? Well, we have a have a game here, Scott. I mean, I expected, uh, based on the start, for it to get out of hand a little early. But give it your credit to LBJ for sticking in there and uh, making a four-point game over here. Laney Adair with the serve. A nice one again at Galea's. Trying to set up for Nix. Nix gets a kill, but we dug it up with Cadillo. Over it goes from Reynolds. It's going to be Wooten. Ruggio digs it up. Miller was able to hit it over, but it was uh, a net violation by Nix. So that goes back to Laney Adair. It's 20 to 15. Laney comes on, and she's doing a great job with service. Laney is a junior. There's a nice hit by Nix. Ruggio digs it up, but Miller was able to kill, and now it's 21 to 15, and just like that, the Lady Lions starting to pull away. That was nice ball placement by Miller. 
So, Laney Adair still serving the girl with the interview prior to the game, scoring us a lot of points. Nice block there by Shaw at the net. Ruggio to Shaw, and the kill by Shaw. That makes it 22 to 15. Lady Adair, the junior, is keeping us alive here with her service. There it is, nice dig up. They're gonna go to Wooten. Reynolds, Ruggio with the, with the nice kill. And it was one of those kind of, she looked like she was going to set it, and then she hit it over for a good kill. 23 to 15, Lady Lions. Here comes Laney Adair. Galeos gets it up. They hit it to Wooten. Nice block there by Shaw. Miller with a nice hit. And it's a kill. So we are now at game point, 24 15 Lady Lions, and it's going to be Laney Adair, the junior, trying to finish this game off. Nice serve. They're going to set Nix, but Nix hits it into the net. Your Lady Lions, thanks to Laney Adair, finishing them off. 25 15. The Lady Lions win match number one. And we're going to let our sidekick here take us away. For the Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMX Sports Blue Vibe Magazine. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow-cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. All right, we are back here. We win game one, 25 15. Kevin, what do you think of our first match? Well, I, I think they uh, didn't panic when it was close and pulled away in the end. And that just uh, shows maturity. Um, I, like I said, I expected to pull away from them earlier, but give LBJ the credit for sticking in it. Um, but, it, you know, it kind of looks like they were just a little overmatched at times. But, uh, you know, they had a girl that came in and served well. Um, they had uh, a couple of kids who hit the ball well. They're, they're hanging in there. I do see parents from last year's volleyball team here. No kids in the program. Several sets of them over there and a couple of kids that played in the last few years. So you got a full gym here on a game that might really not mean anything on paper, but uh, is being well supported by the, uh, the school and the community. Yeah, and I, you know, as much as I hate to have to say this, my parents' dogs, Bo and Bubba, seem to think I'm ridiculous for calling them ridiculous. Uh, we're, we thought we were going to get Rudy over here for this, this uh, in between this game, but maybe we'll get him in between game two and three. As like Kevin said, you know, they were able to get Peyton Atchison. She did a great job with her jump serve to get back into the match, but it was Lady Lions with their poise, their senior leadership. They said, no big deal. And then our junior, Blaney, uh, Laney came in, she did a great job. Laney doesn't see a whole lot of playing time, but she's playing tonight and she sent it home with her serves. And I was glad to see that for her. So we're just waiting on the referees right now to get game number two set up. One thing I noticed uh, earlier and didn't have a chance to comment on it, but uh, Ruggio, from where we're at, when she would spike the ball, almost has a natural drop curve spin to it. Um, and you could see it because we were behind her two times when she, when she hit the ball. And she does. Being that natural lefty ability there, nat lefties do everything well It's in every sport. And she does have that nice English when she hits it. So they're going to sir, uh, take service first. It will be Veronica Ashley with the service. Dug up by Ruggio to Miller. Back to Ruggio. Nice dig, 
They try to go over. It is Rutan that gets it. Ruggio set Shaw. Shaw with the kill. It's one to nothing. Lady Lions are going to take that serve back. And it will be the girl with the kill. Or no, the girl with the set with the kill. Abby Ruggio with her left-handed jump serve. And it's an ace. Two to nothing. Lady Lions are on top. Let's see if they can't run away with some Ruggio serves here. Nice job, Gallo. Nix with a good kill herself. It will be LBJ taking a serve back with the Nix kill. This time it will be Emily Wooten that will be serving for him. Emily with the jump serve. Uh, Cadillo over to uh, Krenz. Wooten with the hit. They're going to dig it up. Krenz again. Wooten again. They this time will go to Descharm. They'll set up Krenz once again. And it goes into the net. So it is now two to two. We are all tied up here with two charm. Or no, I'm sorry, Emily Wooten is still serving for him. Two to two. Jump serve, it goes into the net. Lockhart will get it back. So it'll be three to two. And it will be uh, the lady who won the game that's back on the court, Elaine Adair, who is now serving. Gallus with the set. Nix with the hit. Dig by uh, by our team. We're, we're waiting for the kill, but it's Nix that says no. As it was a nice set. Shaw tried to get the kill. Nix with the block. It's now three to three, and Nix will get the serve for him. And be Ruggio to Reynolds. Nix tried to dig it, but it goes out of bounds. So it's now four to three. Lady Lions are on top. Shaw will be serving. Ashley with the, the, the dig. Ruggio puts it up for play. It's Shaw that hits it over to Gallows. A nice hit and it is in. And that was number nine, Mandy Chan with the kill. It's all tied up at four. And here comes the girl in the serve that gave us all the trouble in Peyton Atchison. She has a nice jump serve. And it goes out. So it's five to four, the Lady Lions are on top. And it will be Brooklyn Miller who served a lot of points for us in the first match. Gallows. They give it over to number seven in Chan. She hits it over. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Duchar that hit it over for the kill. It's five to five. I do not like gray uniforms or purple numbers. It's hard to tell who it is. Duchar will hit it over with the serve. Ruggio, Reynolds with the kill. So we're gonna get it right back. The junior Reynolds with a nice kill and now she's gonna get service. 6-5, Lady Lions. Adair checks in for, or checks out for Krenz. Krenz checks back in. Reynolds will be on service right now. The junior with a nice hit. They're gonna try to dink it over. Krenz digs it. Reynolds to Krenz. They're gonna say it was a lift. They're gonna call a lift on Ash, uh, Veronica Ashley. 
So Lockhart will keep serve. Seven to five, Lady Lions. Reynolds on the serve. Nice hit, blocked by Young. Wooten tried to go over, Krenz with the dig. Chan with it. Young again. Wooten, Krenz to Ashley Ruggio with a nice kill. And they're gonna say it was a lift, so they're gonna give the kill to Ruggio. It is now eight to five, Lady Lions. It is still Reynolds serving. And she goes long. It'll be eight to six. LBJ will get the serve. It will be number one, Alexia Gallos. She'll serve for LBJ. Gallos with the serve. It is Stevens with the dig, Terugio. Young hits it over. Wooten. Over to Abby Ruggio. Krenz with the kill. The block by Nix. Uh, Krenz with a great save. And then Nix with the kill. Nix is quite tall, quite athletic. That is, it is now eight to seven. Or no, I checked that's eight to six. No, that is eight to seven. They didn't catch up with any time. Yeah, Nix is obviously the go-to hitter, and she's six foot without a doubt. Oh yeah, she's very tall, very athletic. It will be Alexa Gallos to serve again. Break it right here, let's go. There's the hit. Good job there by Stevens. And what a kill by Kia Young. Kia Young with the kill, and it will now be Carla Cadillo on service. They get the dig. Wooten will hit it. Miller to Ruggio to Krenz. Addison to oh. Nix, but it goes out of bounds. They're gonna say it did go out of bounds, so it will be 10 to seven. Cadillo on service again. There's the serve. Wooten to Nix. A good dig there by Stevens, and Nix with the kill. 10 to eight. LBJ will get the service back. LBJ is not going down without a fight. Larry Woolley. Friends. Good dig by Gaius. But it goes out of bounds. It was Sandra Morin that tried to hit it over and it goes out of bounds. That makes it 11 to eight in favor of the Lady Lions. And here comes senior Abby Ruggio with that left-handed jump serve. And she un hit, uncharacteristically hits it into the net. So it's gonna go 11 to nine. Emily Wooten serving for LBJ. Harley Cadillo to Ruggio. To Miller, they're gonna set it up. Ruggio, and it is killed by number 10, Sydney Shaw. So it is now 12 to nine, and it is Lainey Adair back in the serve. The set. To Dixon and she or Nick, she can't get it. Ball's over. They're gonna hit it over. Nice dig. Ruggio to Miller. And they're gonna say the kill goes. So Miller with the kill. 
Laney Adair. 13 to nine, Lions. Nix, Ruggio, but it went out of bounds on Miller. So Nix will be serving. 13 to 10, Lady Lions on top. There's the jump serve. Adair to Miller to Adair. Wooten, the set and the block by Shaw. So 14 to 10, the girl with the block. Sydney Shaw. Falls in. Unfortunately, they got a nice hit there by number 14, Veronica Ashley. It's now 14 to 11. And Peyton Atchison is here to serve. Thank you, let's go. Cadillo, Ruggio, Young goes out. Serve will stay with Atchison. 14 to 12, Lady Lions on top. Atchison to serve. Good job on Cadillo's part. Reynolds with a good job. Or I'm sorry, Miller with a good job hitting it over. But it was number seven, Maribel Nisharm, who was able to get the kill. And it will stay with Atchison. 14-13. And it went off arms of Cadillo, so it's 14-14. And again, it is Peyton Atchison to save the day for LBJ. Atchison gets the ace, and for the first time tonight, the Lady Lions find themselves down. We'll go to a commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports Group Bike Magazine. Johnny and Sons Paint and Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny and Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny and Sons Paint and Body, we won't steer you wrong. All right, so for the first time tonight, LBJ on top. It's Peyton Atchison again who's doing the damage with the serves. So Peyton Atchison will do the service. LBJ's on top, 15-14. The dig by Cadillo to Ruggio. Reynolds. They're going to set it up. Good dig there by Adair. The kill was tried, but they get the dig. It's going to go back over Cadillo to Ruggio. Oh, they're going to say a miss hit. So it is now 16 14. LBJ. Atchison doing some more damage. Ruggio. And, or, I'm sorry, that was Miller with a nice dink. So Miller with the dink. It goes back, and now Miller is going to serve 15-16. Gaius to Miller. They're trying to hit it back over. It'll be Atchison. Miller to Young. It'll go you long. And for the first time tonight, Lockhart is having to fight their way back. 
17-15 LBJ. Maribel Charm is going to serve. Ruggio. They give it to the Charm, and she hits it long. It's now 16 to 17. And back serving is Kaylee Reynolds. Service was hit into the net. Seventeen, seventeen. Kaylee Reynolds on serve. Kaylee. Here comes Kill. That was number nine, Mandy Chan on the kill. So they have Alexis Gaos. Reynolds, Millard, and the block. Nix with the block. It is 18, or 1917. On top of LBJ. Over they go. Nix, the block. Nix again, the block. And this time, the block is done by Kia Young. Nix tried to get the kill. Kia Young gets the block. 18-19. Carla Cadillo. To Young. To Krenz. Over it goes. And into the net with the hit is Emily Wooten. And it's now 19-19. Carla Cadillo again to serve. Wooten, good job there with Stevens. The block by Ruggio. And Wooten with the block again. 20 to 19, Lady Lions are on top now. Carla Cadillo with serve. Knicks. The dig back another block and the dink and kill by Abby Ruggio. So that'll give us a timeout with the Lions on top, 21-19. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Bite Magazine. Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, we're back here with the Lions, and what do you think? As we are now 21-19, Kevin. Yeah, a lot closer, uh, similar to the first game. Um, we just didn't quite pull away the same in the end. We were down three points. I'm not sure exactly what the score was. Was it 18, 15, or, and now we're up, we're up two. So again, didn't didn't uh, panic. Um, and then just didn't get the serve over the net there. 21-20. They're gonna go with Veronica Ashley. Ruggio with the kill, but it was number 13, Emily Wooten with the block. Back to 21. And Veronica Ashley. Good 
They're going to go to Atchison. What a nice dig. But they're going to say we have a lift. They're going to call Wooten with the lift. It's unfortunate for LBJ because that was absolutely a great dig there. Yes, it was. So they're going to call another timeout. You're listening to the Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports Through Fight Magazine. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted Best Chiropractor and Best Chiropractor's Office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163. 4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. All right, we're back. It's 22 21. Abby Ruggio going to try to get us on top and hopefully keep us on top. I say it went long. 22, 22. The only Wooten would serve. Nice dig. The kill for Krenz? Nope. That's going to be Ashley. Ruggio to Shaw. I'm sorry, Miller. Ruggio, Krenz. Miller. Whoa. Krenz with a kill. 23-22. Krenz with a kill. Laney Adair. On the serve. And Dick, or Nick's with a dig to the kill. It is now 23, 23. Nick's with the kill. And now Nick's is on the serve. The Dio. And Reynolds, Kaylee Reynolds with a big kill. 24, 23, Shaw on for hopefully the game point. And it was Mandy Chan who hit it into the net. Which gives Lions a 25-23 win in game two. So we move on to game three. The Lions are up for the 25-23 win. I got a couple of comments before we go to commercial break here. Uh, you know, I've been uh, going up to see my daughter play fall ball at uh, Bossier Parish College. I got to see her play against uh, Stephen F. Austin where Alex Hedspeth uh, is on their team. Right from last year, um, Alex Hedspeth was the leadoff hitter and the starting third baseman on the team as a freshman. Uh, then we played another tournament in Shreveport, and uh, Amanda White, who plays at Kilgore, was there. So it's nice to start seeing a lot of these girls that went on to play college softball at the same tournaments. Looks like we've got Rudy here. Yes. All right, so we're talking to our eyes when we're not there. Rudy Cadillo, thank you. Now, what are you giving to us about tonight's matches? You know, uh, the first time we played LBJ at home, first set was 25 to 15. Second set was 25, 23. Third set was 25, 22. So, I mean, they're playing as tight just like they were 
both teams, you know, already solidified their, their spots for the playoffs. So, of course, this is almost like a, a warm-up match. But I'm thinking, uh, yeah, it's going to be another, another nail by I think, this set. All right. So there, there you have our eyes when we're at football games in Rudicadillo. Who happens to be quite the golfer? Yeah, somewhat <laughs> to say. <laughs> so, Rudio, when you're there, you're obviously not getting to do all the filming that you do all the time. Right. So, uh, we appreciate you being the guy in the sky. But what is it like knowing your daughter's coming back for yet another year? So, you're not as crazy like some of these senior parents are in the stands. No, actually, I think I started off worse uh, when she was a freshman. I mean, I you'd see me walking up and down the stands, sitting at the very top, just nervous as can be. She had no nerves. You know, I was nervous for her. But, I mean, as years come by, you know, I've, got, I've gotten accustomed to it. So, here I am, just getting there to just watch the game, relax, joke around, whatever. As you see, I brought my little boy today, so he's he got me on my toes right now. So, <laughs> he usually comes with me every home game. Well, Rudy, we appreciate you coming over because you're the eye in the sky when hey. we're not there. Again, I appreciate you guys coming here broadcasting the game and also doing the football game. You know, as you know, I'm always at the volleyball games or wherever listening to you guys broadcast. Um, so, uh, again, you guys are doing a great job. And we appreciate you guys. Well, Trust thank us. you, we're Rudy. Yeah. We appreciate you. Yeah. Well, I guess we're ready to go again. We got Abby Ruggio starting off set number three. Let's see what she does. There's the set. Over the net. Got McCallum setting it up. Oh, looks like we get a point on that one. She's got to have one of the best jump serves in Central Texas, don't you say? Oh, I would agree. Yeah. I would agree. It's got that little English there. Yeah, it's always hard to hit a left-handed ball, judging where the ball is going to float. Point number two. All right, so here we go. Abarujo, two to nothing. They try to dig. Wooten with the with the kill, and our wheels can't get to it. So it's two to one. Wooten with the kill. And you can see LBJ's offense. They run. They always run through number four. I don't know her name, but I mean you can tell she's one of the tall, better hitters for the for the LBJ Jaguars there. Paris Nix. Oh, that was a good one by our little short one was able to get the kill on that one. Yeah. Good old Cali Crins. Cali Crins with the kill. And the girl has been getting a lot of points tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here comes Laney Adair. And there's that Nix. Ruggio to Nick, or to, <laughs> to Shaw. To Shaw. <laughs> I almost called him Nick's. <laughs> Four to one. There's a little double there. I like it when we're up. Five to one now. So this is where I would like to see our girls just step on the gas and, you know, just keep adding points, adding points on them. They're going to Nix again. There it is. So five to two, we're going to switch it up. I cannot see the number on that one, but I want to say that is Woot. Now that was Wooten right there with the kill. Five to three right now. It is so hard to see those numbers with purple on them. Adair, Ruggio, Shaw, 
but Nix was there for the block. Yeah, that one we need to probably set a little bit higher. I think Sydney would have put that one down with ease. Out it goes. Five to five right now. As this is Wooten with the serve. Cadillo, Ruggio to Reynolds. Wooten tried to get the kill, but it went out. Six to five lines. Kia Young checked in for Carly Cadillo, and she's been a uh, present start in the, in the middle tonight, haven't she? She's been making a couple blocks there tonight. Shot with the serve. Nice block. Reynolds. And here's Miss Smiles, Kia Young with the block. There you Seven go, five. See? Right on cue. Every time she blocks, she smiles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get oh. Seven to six. Brings up Nix on the back line. Good deal. Ruggio. To, to, oh, to Miller. Brooklyn Miller, eight to six. That'll be Brooklyn Miller who's had some points tonight. Need a block right here. Oh, got into that. <laughs> no smile that time. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Miller again. Up. Blocking it. Right there, right there, making a presence felt. Oh, <laughs> there he is. You ain't stopping Ruggio. Ruggio, 10 to 6. Lockhart on top. Miller's on the run right now. Oh. Nice dig. Oh, she can't get it up there, though. So it goes back over to them, 10 to 7. I think Rudy called it. I think this is going to be 25 22 when it's all said and done. Yeah, I think so. It's a back and forth match going on right now, so Let's see what, what, off, what offense is going to show up here shortly. Let's get on a little run here. Oh, oh. out it goes. Ruggio was on the kill, but it went out. And here comes their little fire plug again. Reynolds. Out it goes. We got Kelsey Stevens checking back in for the serve for the Lady Lions. And it looks like Kali Krenz is also coming back in. Oh, nope. Looks like we're having a timeout. Well, we're going to keep it here. So we'll keep it here. So what do you think when you, when you see him? Kind of a little out of kilter tonight. They're not doing their usual. No, they're not. They're not at all. Um, I don't know what's going on. You know, maybe they're just a little bit, look like a little, little sluggish, but I think they'll be all right. So we will have right now 
Kelsey Stevens. Kelsey Stevens will go ahead and serve as we're up 11 to eight. Nice block. Yes, Carly. Cadillo. Ruggio. Trent. Nice little tip ball, Trent. Nice. Cadillo. Ruggio. The Trans on that one. 12 8. Go, Kels. Kelsey Stevens. Oh, barely stuck that over the net on us. 12-9. This is going to be number Sean. Yeah, number seven. The Dio. The Cran. Oh, the oh nice dude by nice Cliff Miller. Nice job there by Miller. And they go long. Way to keep that play alive there for us right there for my Brooke. 13 to 9. Who's this? I don't know. I've never seen her before. <laughs> the deal over the top. Thirteen to nine or thirteen to ten, Lady Lions are on top. This is gonna be Gauss. Ruggio to Miller to Shaw, but they block with Nix. Thirteen to eleven. Kinda hard to hit through that girl, but uh, you gotta hit around her or do a little tip ball. Thirteen to eleven, Lady Lions. Cadillo, Miller. Ruggio dinks. They're going to go over the top of the dink of the own. Ruggio. To Allison. Oh, nice effort. 13 to 12. Let's go. Get it back. Ladies. You got it. Alexis Gala. Gala set the line. The Dio. To lose you. Oh, oh my gosh, this next girl is. Somebody was in the net. It looked like she was in the net, but it looks like they're going to give it to LBJ. 13 13 now, because I thought she was in the net too. Yeah, she was definitely in the net. Lose you. And that goes wrong. 14 13, Lady Lions on top. Here comes that jump serve. There's a little jump serve. Let's see where she's going to place it. Wooten. Ruggio. Miller. And Stevens. Stevens and with the kill. Oh, they call it out. Called it out again. Oh, wow. 14 14. Oh no, Nix with the skill there on the beat. 15 14, LBJ. It's right now, Veronica Ashley has gotten it to us. The Dio. Oh no. The next she went. Team 16, we're down. Dio, Lucio, Stevens, and Nix with a block. 
like we got a timeout from Lockhart. All right, so we're going to take a timeout here. You are listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, we're back here. It is 17 to 14, LBJ on top. Nix has been the story in this one with all those blocks of hers. Yeah, as I mentioned, the whole everything, run, the whole offense runs through, through her, through Nix. Um, I think on the season already, she coming into this game, she had over 400 and something kills. So, as you can see, she's if the offense does run through her. So they still have Veronica Ashley on service. <laughs> Brand. Miller. Yeah, she caught the corner there, back corner. Point Lockhart. So 15-17 Lockhart. Right now we need to go on a nice little run here. That is for sure. Laney. They're going to mix. She got the kill. Eighteen fifteen, LBJ on top. This is going to be Emily Wooten serving. Oh, oh lady. Nineteen fifteen. Lady Lions are down for the first time tonight for a big. Deficit. Prins. Prins with an almost kill. There's a little misty by every day. Yep, that, that was nice. Though. That's what we need right there. So it'll be Sydney Shaw on service, 16 and 19. At the end of the game, we'll have a offense and defensive players of the game. That is if we can stay on top. Oh, they're going to call that on us? Oh. oh. Yay. <laughs> so Shaw again, 17-19. Nice Big there by Ruggio. Prins. Up to the net. Prins. Ruggio. Reynolds. So right now it's 20. 17. LBJ on top. And Knicks will be serving. This might be going four. I hope not. I hope not. See, the rotation that LBJ is in right now is, is good for us because again, uh, Nix is in the back on the back court, so obviously she can't. She won't be able to spike the ball or at the net, come up to the net. I mean, she can hit a kill shot from back row, but that's about it. She can't come past the front line there. So Twenty-one to seventeen, LBJ on top. You know, I'm not sure if it's it's me, if I'm just, uh, what I'm seeing here, but we're not reeling off four, five, six, seven points on our serves, right? We'll get a point or two, and they'll get the ball right back. This has not been a nice match or game for us on this one anyways, as we find ourselves down 21-17.
Hopefully that timeout will get us something here. As Nix is back with a 21-17 lead. Young with a nice kill. 18, that'll get her out. But bring it back here to Brooklyn Miller. Service. Gilles. Friends. Miller. Ah, nice there. Block it went out of bounds. It says what? It says we're offline. Huh. Oh, goodness. 22 to 19. Rio, Ruggio, that's going all the way. Twenty to twenty-two. Right. Stevens is going to be back on the serve for us here. Hopefully, she'll serve us five in a row. Good trade by LBK there. Ruggio goes out. So 23-20, the Lions are, are down now. There's a nice one. Nice, nice block. block there. Nice block. Oh, nice. Nice, Abby. Nice job. Here we go. There we go. 23 21. What a series of event right there that happened. Lockhart gets the point there. If Abby Ruzio puts the kill down for the Lady Lions. I mean, Lockhart serve. Let's go, Carly. You got it right here. Let's go. We have Carly Cadillo serving right now. Lockhart down So it looks like LBJ takes set number three, 25-21. Uh, we are going to a fourth set now. Ah. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted Best Chiropractor and Best Chiropractor's Office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. 
You can tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. All right, we're back here where the Lions lost the third one. We're now up two to one. We're heading to match number four here. If I'm correct, I believe we were up five to one early on, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We. Uh, I don't know. We just struggling on that one. I think it kind of lost the focus a little bit. Yeah, it looks like we were playing that set a little bit flat. Um, the ladies need to be up more on their heels or on their toes, so to say. Um, we did have some series of events where we fought back, but again, LBJ won that match. The last, you know, the last couple of points that they got there on us. So here we go, getting ready to start out match number four. Here we gotta get out on top on this one. Well, and to some degree, you have to give credit where credit is due. Nix has been in, uh, impressive. Oh, God. They've yes. served the ball well. Uh, we've had a couple of serves that didn't make it over the net, which is, I'm guessing maybe a little uncharacteristic. So we'll start out with uh, Veronica Ashley. Friends, Ashley digs it up. They'll send it long. Trying to get it. Try to get a kill shot there, but they couldn't get it up. And already, Lions are down one to nothing. Yeah, it looks like there's some little miscommunication between Callie Cranes and Abby Ruzzo on that on that set there. Ashley will serve again. That was a double there. That helped. Four, one to one. We got Abby Rizzo serving up for Lockhart Lions here. Nice dig. Yeah. Send it long. Set up to Prince. No block. Shaw. Ashley. We'll send it along again. Cadillo. De Ruggio to Shaw. The friends over. We're going to send it long, and it goes out. So 2-1. to one. LBJ. Two to one, LBJ, as Wooten will serve. Gets it over. Oh, nice kill there by Miller.
So we are at two to two right now. Friends. The Dicks. Knicks. We try to block and it does not go our way. So it is now three to two, LBJ on top. Knicks will serve. There she goes with the jump. As they will go up and Miller. They're gonna try to go over with this one. As it looks like it's gonna go out and it does go out on Knicks. So it's three to three in this match as uh, Shaw will be serving. There's the serve. Nice line, five flaw. They go up. Prince. And it goes over again. Prince just to Reynolds. The block goes out of bounds. It is now four to three. Lady Lions on top. Let's see if we can get a run going here. This is we definitely need a run going here. Uh, let's see if Shaw. Sydney Shaw with the serve here for the Lady Lions. Ball is up. Shaw over the net. Got Lady LBJ setting it up. Kylie Kranz with the little dig there. Set by Abby Rujo to Kia. Point, Lady Lions. Kia with the kill. So that's five to three. All right, we got Sydney Shaw back there ser serving again. Servers up over the net. Oh, great hustle by LBJ. Brooke Miller there. Abby Rujo with the set to Kaylee Reynolds. Block. Sydney Shaw with the save. Abby Rujo had to put it over the net. Good dig by Abby Rujo. Set by Brooke Miller to Kaylee Reynolds. LBJ with a good dig there. Ooh. Looks like a LBJ hit the ball out. Point Lockhart. We're now six to three. But Sydney Shaw back there to serving. Service up. Got LBJ with the dig. Setting. Brooke Miller to Abby Rujo to Callie Krenz. Good dig by LBJ. Callie Krenz with the dig. Rujo to Brooke Miller. Ball's blocked. Ball out of bounds. Point Lady Lions. We are now 7-3 here. Sydney Shaw back to serve. Good serve there by Sydney. Little miscommunication by LBJ. They get the ball over. Abby Rujo. Over to Kia Young. And looks like LBJ was in the net. Point Lady Lions. Here's the run that we're talking about right here. Eight to three, or nine to three actually. No, eight to three, I'm sorry. Sydney Saw, back to serve. Good serve. Oh, a little miscommunication, miss hit by LBJ again. Point Lady Lions. Nine to three. Sydney Shaw, Sydney Shaw still back to serve. Good deep serve. Oh, just a bit outside. But we did get a little bit of a run going on there. Yeah, we did. We have nine to four, LBJ with the serve. So it's like number two, Peyton Atch Atchison for serve for LBJ. The DL to Ruggio to, to Kaylee Reynolds. Cringe with the dig there. Back to Kaylee Reynolds. Didn't make the ball over the net. Point LBJ, nine to five. Number two, Peyton Atkinson still back to serve for LBJ. Servers up, over the net. Let's 
Set up to Kaylee Reynolds. Puts it over the net. Oh, nice little point there for Lockhart. Go well, miss, miss uh, hit by LBJ. Scores now 10 to 5. But Brooklyn Miller back to serve for the Lady Lions. Nice serve by Brooke Miller. Lady Lions with the. Another miscue, uh, miscue on uh, by OBJ's part. 11 to 5, Lady Lions. Brooke Miller still back to serve for us. So Brooke Miller's on there to serve. I appreciate the help here as we were, were trying to bounce back and forth from things that were not getting on the internet, I guess. They're gonna. Long, long rally here between LBJ and Lockhart right now. Abby Rujo. Kylie Krenz to Brooke Miller. She tries a little dump ball. LBJ was ready for it. Get the ball over the neck. There's Cadillo to Brooklyn Miller to Kia Young. Get the spot. Yep. You got a long good uh, volley going around here. There it is. LBJ with the kill there. There's no stopping that south call when it's coming 30, 50 miles an hour like that. She can, do it. She, can, she can put some heat on the ball. Let's see. Point Lockhart, 12 to 5 with a timeout by LBJ. For over 15 years, Raina Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Raina Drywall and Paint today. Okay, we are back here at Lions Stadium. Uh, again, we're in the timeout for LBJ. Lady Lions are leading the fourth set 12-5. This is definitely the run that we wanted to see from our Lady Lions. Hopefully they'll keep pressing on the gas and going forward to close out this match. I don't know about you guys, but I'd like to see about five, six, seven, eight more of those skills like that last one Rujo had. She brought, she brought the hammer down on that one. She definitely did. She definitely did. If we can just get her some sets, she can put them down. That's for sure. And Brooke Miller with the serve over the net. LBJ with the volley. Crane with the, with the dig there. Set to Ruggio. Good dig by LBJ. Callie Crane. Brooklyn Miller. Kia Young. And point Lockhart. 13 to 5. Kia Young with a nice little kill there for us. Off of the... LBJ deflection. We got Brooklyn Miller back here still serving for the Lady Lions. Oh, nice save by the Lady Lions. Kaylee Reynolds with the kill. Point Lady Lions, 14 to 5. Here we go, Brooklyn Miller back to serve for the Lady Lions still. Nice serve. Nice. Again, pleasant felt by Kia Young there in the middle to set the ball down for the Lady Lions. Point 15 to 5. All right, the serve going back to back and forth here as we we had to deal with Scott Smith having blood sugar issues here with his diabetes so I'm back <laughs> I appreciate it friend <laughs> I tell you what it's good that he was here because if you wouldn't have been here I kind of lost the blood sugar issues I started losing a little focus on what I was doing here so I'm glad you were able to step in 16 to 5 
got a timeout here, LBJ. So look into next week's uh, next week's match. We are either going to be playing Harlandale or Kerrville Tyvee. They are playing tonight. Um, winner of that match, if I believe if Kerrville wins, we play Harlandale. Oh, okay. If Harlandale wins, then it'll be a coin flip between them two to see who gets the who will get the number three seed and the number four seed. All right, so we're back. It's 16 to five. The Lady Lions have started to pull away with this one and. They, they really needed to because they win this match, it's over. But they were really out of focus like I was. <laughs> uh, but now we got we have the serve here. They've, they've tried to play it up. Over it goes. Krenz to Miller. Oh, a little bit oh, of miscommunication. There. Yeah, the miscommunication where we're down 16 to 6 now. As they will get served with number seven, that is going to be Maribel uh, Ducharme. She will be serving. Balls in play. Friends. Miller. Ruggio. And it goes off of Atchison. Ruggio with a nice hit, making it seven or 16 to 6. 17 to 6. I thought it was 17 to 6. Friends. Uh, nope. That's Kaylee Riddles back to serve. Reynolds is going to be serving. There it is. Nice hit. Cadillo over to Krenz. Krenz can't get it to go. Back to the, ah, they double hit. So it'll be 18 to six in favor of the Lockhart Lions. 18 to six. As Reynolds will stay on service. Here's the serve. It's hit once by Atchison. They're going to go to Wooten. Over to Atchison. Nice dink. They're going to go along with the hit. Up to Ruggio. And it falls in. It just rolled over the net. Miller was able to get that hit to roll over the net, fall to the ground. It's 19 to 6. Lady Lions on top. Coach is going to play a little soccer style there in the high heels. As they will go back with service with Reynolds. Nice. Atchison digs it. They're going to try to get the hit. Over it goes. Ruggio to Young. Nice block at the net. Krenz. And it oh, falls in. Nice spike. The service kill there. 20 to 6. They've kind of run away with this one, Rudy. Yeah, as you can see, look at LBJ's um, floor right now. Who's not on the floor right. right now for them? Exactly. Mix is not on the floor. So this is where they kind of get out of rotation. They kind of you see a lot of errors from LBJ. And and you're seeing them now. This yeah. is 21 to 6. As Young was there for the block. And uh, you can pretty much write this one's going to be done at this one. Yeah. As Reynolds has done a great job with service. Atchison. Here comes the Rouge, uh, Miller to Kranz. It goes long, though. So 21 to 7. They don't get what they want. They finally get their girl back on the floor. That's what they needed. Yep, exactly. Service for them will be Alexa Gaius. Gaius will be up. Here comes the serve. Cadillo. Miller, Ruggio with a block there up the net. Cadillo runs it down. Over it goes for Stevens. Atchison to Dick. Or Nix, Nix gets the dink to go over. So they get their star back on the floor and she goes to work. It's 21 to eight. Again, I apologize folks. My blood sugar got low on me. I had to get something to eat. Rudy did his job and I appreciate him. Serve is in, but long. It goes to Lockhart. 22 to 8 is your score. The Lions are running away with this one in the, thir uh, the fourth set. Cadillo will be back to serve with a 22 to 8 lead. Here comes the service, and it goes long. Off the girls' hands and long out of bounds. 23 to 8. Cadillo will keep the serve. That one was just 
fire on the back of that one. Yes, yeah, she sure was. Fun. Hopefully she can close it out right here. I agree. That would help me with my blood sugar problem. So here goes the serve. Oh, the, oh it hits the net. So 23 to 9. It's amazing to me, though, as you called them the littles. They play bigger than they are, though. They really do. I don't know where they get it from, though. That's the thing. Oh, uh, uh, miscommunication. Uh, mis mis yes. Mis mis double by them, 24 9. Uh, no. oh, oh, that was on us. That was on us, yes. Oh, I okay. thought it called it on us. No. Oh, oh, it was a double. Double set on us. So it will be Veronica Ashley with a 23 10 deficit. Krenz gets blocked. And they hit it over. They're going to say four hits. Fans are not liking it. I kind of agree with the fans. I didn't think it was four hits. But it's 23 to 11. Kadia digs it. Krenz gets a hand on Oh, that's cool. just Everything's out of sorts right now. I think we're going to need a timeout. I was going to say a timeout might be a good thing to call right about I mean, now. We got a 23 to 12 lead. Just kind of slow things down a little bit. Let these girls just catch their, catch their beans here. Ashley's been on a roll here for them. Right now, we're just out of sorts. Yeah. We've got to get calmed down. Now would be a good time. Just call a timeout. Yep, there's a timeout. There call. it is. 23 to, 12, well, 23 to 13. We're going to take a timeout. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. Cool. And it is 23-13. And again, I just, just so you folks know what's going on, I am a diabetic and I had a low blood sugar issue to where I just had trouble keeping up with the game with the eyes and everything and so Rudy stepped in did a great job as I could tell what was going on even though I wasn't calling the game and I appreciate you buddy I appreciate that yeah no problem at all so he did a great job we're going to finish this up it's 23 to 13 coach called a good timeout Ruggio gets the ball to Miller to Krenz and there's the kill 24 to 13 we're one serve away from finishing this off and it'll be Abby Ruggio. Abby Ruggio. Why not on senior night? Let your senior knock it off. Yes, sir. Let's get a little ace here. If you can. I, I, I would love that. 24-13. Serve is on the way. There's one. Oh, goodness. Nice dig back there, though. Ah. Yeah, we'll go one more point. So 24-14 is what the score is. It's just when they're going to win it. Not if they're going to win it. It's when they're going to win it. Whether it be on a service error or error by OBJ or if we get the call. Exactly. And just spike it down. And there's a dig by Cadillo. Ruggio. Krenz. Oh, it goes long. So we're going to go another point. Another point, man. No, we can't be spotting that many more points, though. Exactly. Exactly. Got to get a side out here. 24 to 15. Serves on the way. Cadillo. To Ruggio over the top. They're going to try to get a block with Shaw. And she goes out with the ball game is over. The Lady Lions win it in four. Three games to one. They win this one 25 to 15. So the girls obviously end up second place just like they started the night. Now it's just wait, the waiting game to find out who we're going to be playing on Monday or Tuesday. We're going to take a real quick commercial break, and then that way that me and Kevin and Rudy can talk about our offense and defensive players of the game, and then we'll come back and get that all deciphered, and we'll call it a night. So you're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports, Dubai Magazine. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. 
Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted Best Chiropractor and Best Chiropractor's Office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. All right, we're back here at Lockhart High School, and I know Rudy's going to want to go talk to his daughter, so I'm going to first let him talk about what he thought about tonight's match and uh, and his thoughts. All right, even though we stepped away at the victory tonight, um, there were still a lot of miscues, uh, a lot of stuff that we got to we got to fix up, tighten up, come playoff next week. Um, other than that, I mean, these girls again all year all year long they've been battling out, um, playing as. You know, with heart is what the coaches say. You know, they, these girls got heart. They've got fire in them. Um, they're excited about going, you know, to the playoffs next, uh, I think, in, since 2004, I believe, is the last time. Right, they right, guys. right. Uh-huh. But tonight, I mean, overall, again, clean up the little mistakes that they had. Get the ball over the net. I mean, uh, just fix those. Come next week, and we'll be fine. Okay, sounds great. Well, and then uh, as far as Kevin, Kevin, what were your thoughts tonight? Uh, I thought they lacked a little focus at times, and they were going around, and then kind of like in that last set, they kind of let them score four, five, six, seven points. I mean, you know, they need to tighten it up a little bit, but I'm impressed with the number of weapons we have. I'm impressed with the hustle. Um, you know, you talked about the littles. If you can jump 36 inches with your vertical jump, you don't have to be that tall. Exactly. You know, so... Um, I, I like the idea of this team going deep in the playoffs, so they just got to get it in sync in time for the for each game coming up. Well, you know, and Kevin, I, I appreciate you showing up because it's always nice to have, like when Kevin and them show up, the guys that are on the board so they can get out here and, and, and work the mics with us and things like that. And like tonight, I... <laughs> I'm glad Rudy showed up for the interview when he did because I had an issue with my blood sugars where I just my eyes couldn't keep up with the game and and so I had to sit down and get something to eat real quick and, and fortunately that kicked in and Rudy did a great <laughs> job of filling in for me and then I as towards the end of the game I was actually able to see the game again and do my thing and and again Rudy I appreciate that um, but we're going to get away from the diabetes situation, so we're going to go ahead and go into the offense and defensive players of the game. And we actually agreed with McKelty Altier, who, like I said, we do everything she says because she's the only one that works here with a brain. And uh, so our Arm Bureau defensive player of the game will go to senior Kia Young with just her net play tonight. Just dominated at the net and actually saved us a couple times. So the uh, Farm Bureau defensive player of the game goes to senior Kia Young. And on the other side, the offensive player of the game, because of her service, she scored a lot of points for us tonight in service. Chuck Nash, offensive player of the game, will go to uh, number seven, Brooklyn Miller, another senior. So two seniors, one winning offense, one winning defense. Uh, Kia Young and uh, Brooklyn Miller, congratulations on your offensive and defensive players of the game. And then... For uh, Les Clary, our QA, for McKelty Altier and A.J. Acosta, kind of, when he helped us get started, Rudy Cadillo, thank you for stepping in for me, and Kevin Mills, thank you very much. I appreciate everybody listening tonight. Thank you very much. Remember, Friday, we go pregame at 7. The kickoff is at 7.30. We'll be playing uh, San Antonio Kennedy. That will be football Friday night. And then when we find out about playoffs, We'll be on with your Lady Lions, and I promise you I won't have any diabetic issues that next game. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAC Sports. Good night.